Well, welcome back to the World Cycling Championships from Lyon, France. And as we saw in the Repercharge heats for the Kieran, this is a very fierce and often dangerous sport. Most top riders have had countless falls in their careers, and one such crash has prevented Australia's Danny Clark from competing in these championships. Clark broke his collarbone in a training accident just a few weeks ago, following a broken hip during the Kieran events in Japan earlier this year. But while we won't see Clark racing in these championships, let's take a look at the man who deserves to be called an Australian sporting champion. When I was young, I always had a dream of being the best in the world. I think any sportsman um, has those dreams, but some have stronger dreams than others. And I think uh, I must have had a stronger dream than most people because that was something I always wanted to be, is the best in the world, and that went all through my career. Danny Clark has always been driven to be the best. Even at 13, when he won his first Tasmanian championship, he rode despite a broken elbow. A single-minded young man whose determination matched his athletic artistry, Clark was only 18 when he took a silver medal for the 1,000 metres time trial of the Edinburgh Commonwealth Games in 1970. Two years later, silver again in the same event at the Munich Olympics. But following a dispute with amateur officialdom before the 1974 Commonwealth Games, Clark chose to turn professional. And the life I live over there is, is just racing all the time. Um, there's, there's a lot of, lot of people that uh, expect a great deal from you in Europe and when you provide what they expect, you treat treated very good. So it's, it's also very nice to live over there um, because of the acclaim you get if you're a top sportsman. It makes all the work worthwhile. Because he raced overseas, Australians have never idolised Danny Clark the way they adore a Greg Norman or a Pat Cash. And even when he comes home, Clark's heroism has been in the provincial centres, like Bendigo in Victoria, where he's dominated that city's annual Madison. And his home state, Tasmania, where Danny Clark is almost as famous as David Boone. The Tasmanian sports champion for 1987 is Danny Clark. Tasmanians still rave about Clark's greatest lone ride in the Bernie Wheel Race of 1977. With two laps to go in the handicap race, Clark was still half a lap behind the front markers. And his performance was enough to send the commentator hysterical. Yes! performance a magnificent performance by Danny Clark Clark's battles have often been solo he suffered countless broken bones from a litany of falls Danny have you had any crashes before uh, yeah I've had some very bad ones uh, in 1983 I crashed in Frankfurt in Germany on a hundred meter 150 meter track and I broke my left hip here and now I have a steel plate in my leg with four screws and uh, two years ago I broke my shoulder and I have three pins in there to keep the shoulder together. So uh, when I go through the airports, uh, through the controls, uh, they start bzz, 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 you know, buzzing on me. So The broken bones would have stopped lesser men years ago. But Danny Clark's won over 50 European six-day races, five European titles and nine world championships in four different events. His dream? was to be the best in the world, and his dreams come true. Even when they held the World Penny Farthing Championships in his native Tasmania last year, of course, Danny Clark was the winner. An Australian sporting hero, and unfortunately, because of a broken collarbone sustained in his latest crash, Danny Clark won't be defending his World Professional Motor Pace Championship. Then it's Dougie Osmond followed by this boy on the outside. Look at the ride by Craig Price on the red and white places. He's gone up from the middle markers and picked them up on his own. And the boys are coming off like nine pins as they come up with three laps to go. Dennis Clark out in front. Dennis Clark's the boy out in front as they go past the three laps to go from Dougie Osmond. Then they go back a little bit further in the blue and white. This fellow doing it 
Whitewell out in front, followed around then by uh, Michael Taylor. Eric Bishop, Noel Jordan up on the top of the track in the all-white. He's followed around then by Craig Weiss and Williams going down the back straight. Danny Clark in second the all on the back. Marcus the best all along, long way up from the looters. As we see this fellow, Williams go down the back straight with Danny Clark, followed around by Mark Hodgson and Rodney Johnson. But it's Dougie Hodgson coming up in time to get two laps to go. Dougie Hodgson comes up to get two laps to go. He's followed around the outside by this boy in the all-field night. And he's a follower that's going to take the beating. As we see Danny Clark go out after him, he's gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front. And down the back straight goes Alice Allison, gone to the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out in the strong right, and he's only got Mark Hodgson left in the top. It's Danny Clark out after him with Mark Hodgson on his wheel. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by. Danny Clark gone out on his own. Right after the front boys out the front, followed by Eric Dixon, close by.